Hello, this is exciting, isn't it? The first episode of Veden. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about that time I met Saoirse Ronan. Well, almost. All right, so to begin this tale, we're going to have to jump back from the actual event to Berlin when I was traveling with my girlfriend. One night on the way back to our hostel after a lovely day, we came across a TV crew literally on the bridge right by our hostel. And me being me, I ran up and tried to find the director straight away. It wasn't that difficult, actually. Had the typical director waistcoat holding the monitor. Although I wasn't initially able to talk to him, I was able to talk to the line producer, who kindly told me that they were shooting for a TV version of the film Hannah, which, if you did not know, starred Saoirse Ronan. Now, at the time, this was a pretty cool event, seeing a production crew in action. However, the whole Saoirse Ronan thing wasn't really significant. A few days later, my girlfriend and I are at Latitude Festival. Um, it was the first night and we were watching Solange. And who do I spot in the crowd? No one other than Jim Chapman. Now, I guess because I'm kind of tall and he's kind of tall, it made it really easy for me to see his head. And the whole performance, I was just aware of him there. And I guess because I have this love for YouTube as a platform, and I did used to watch Jim for a bit when I was younger, I just wanted to meet him. And so after the performance, I dragged my girlfriend over to meet him, and he was a lovely dude, really kind guy, seems like a genuinely cool dude. Um, anyway, when we met him, there was someone who had blonde hair, a girl who I kind of recognized, she kind of had a familiar face, but I just couldn't replace her, and I just assumed that she was just another YouTuber. I'm pretty sure there were other YouTubers with Jim, and I was just like, oh, it's just another YouTuber. I kind of recognized them, but I didn't really think it was worth saying hi to someone who I didn't know. It would be like, oh, you must be kind of like YouTube famous as well, hi. So I left it. However, when we were walking away, my girlfriend turned to me and said, wasn't that Sir Sharonin with Jim? And I was like, <laughs> what? She was like, yeah, she kind of had an Irish accent, blonde hair, kind of looked like her. That wasn't Saoirse Ronan, and what are you talking about? Don't be silly. Ha, ha, ha. When we got home, as you do, I went on Jim Chapman's Instagram, you know, just, just to check, just to, out of curiosity. Who do I see in his latest post? Saoirse Ronan. So, the moral of that story is don't doubt your girlfriend. If she says something, go back and check, because you never know. She's right. I actually like to call this tale the Saoirse Ronan sandwich. If you see the whole Berlin encounter as the first bread layer, the encounter at Latitude as the filling, um, the second bread layer was at Latitude again, I was lucky enough to bump into another production crew, which is another story entirely. But the production assistant, who I was again lucky enough to talk to, I found out later that she actually worked on Hannah, the film with Saoirse Ronan, the same film that the production crew in Berlin were filming the TV adaptation of. Okay, that that's the top player. So we got Berlin, actual mere feet away from Saoirse Ronan production assistant. Just to cap end this story, um, I'm back home, just wandering around town. This was literally like a few days after getting back from Latitude Festival. Looking in charity shops, browsing the DVD sections, as I always do, that's the first area I go to. The only place I really particularly care about in a charity shop. What do I see on the DVD shelf? Hannah. Frickin' Hannah, like, rubbing it in my face. Saoirse Ronan's face there on the DVD shelf being like, ha ha, you were, like, right by me, but you didn't recognise me, you dumbass. So that's the story of how I met Saoirse Ronan. Well, how I nearly met Saoirse Ronan.